Hello everyone, Jackie Tomlin here, and we're going to here to take a look at your week ahead. Quick collective, uh, your lengthy collective will be tonight on YouTube at youtube.com backslash psychic Jackie. That is at 7 p.m. Eastern, and that is your long, extensive collective, okay? So let's start off with some uh, random messages, okay? Something you've been manifesting since spring coming into fruition this week. You also have a small wish granted. A Pisces may or may not resonate. And it says to rest before further development. Get ready for a fast pace because secrets are about to be revealed. Now I'm also picking up a Scorpio energy. So, alrighty. Let's see what these messages have before we jump into the tarot. Hope you all had a great weekend. How is everyone today? All right, let's see what we have for the week ahead. Now, tomorrow we'll get over here and I'll do a 48-hour read. So it takes the week and condenses it down a little bit, okay? But right now we're looking at Monday through Sunday. What the week's going to look like. Enlightenment. Telling you, secrets are coming out this week. Things are going to be revealed. A lot of this you had no idea. Oh, you're under the week of magic. Now, I also want to say you're under the new room. The new moon as well as Mercury Retro begins today. Mercury Retro is your time frame of the unexpected. Okay? Good, bad, and the ugly. You are taking leadership. You are taking authority. Truth comes out. You are protected by the white light, surrounded by those angels. And people look to you for stability, okay? For guidance and for stability. A sign that you are on the right path will be swans. Swans and perhaps some fairies. Surrounded by God's grace. Remain flexible. Don't get stuck in plans this week. Things are subject to change at the drop of a hat. Do not get stuck on plans. And you're surrounded by healing energy. And that applies to those that are healing emotionally by someone who's done them wrong. As well as the healing energy of physical healing. Okay? Physical healing of the, some sorts. Okay? Alright, let's see what else we've got going on. Hello, hello, Patricia. Looking good, looking good this week. We're just getting started. Good morning, Jen. Alrighty. We also have, we have the week of magic. Okay, you also under Mercury Retro as of today, as well as a new moon. New, new moon, new everything. You've got a message coming in out the blue. And there's someone deceitful in your circle deceit now let me say this the letter t will resonate most certain of it you are also past due for recognition of success some of you are completing an online course some type of certificate some kind of glow up here you're also very grounded and centered in your formulating some new ideas. Someone coming in to make a promise to you. That might be the deceitful person. I will throw that out there. And strength is on your side no matter what you do. Again, this is the second time it is said that you're protected by the white light. As well as you are surrounded by angels. Hello, Sonny. Getting back into the groove of things. So you're picking up something that you lost off, left off, like a lost project, craft, or something like that. You're picking that back up. And you guys are feeling like you're running that hamster wheel of a life. That's not the case. But you are a little out of sorts trying to figure out where you fit in and where you belong. Well, let's see if the tarot is going to unravel that for you. Week of Secrets Being Revealed. All right, let's get into some tarot. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, thank you, thank you. With my skull shirt on. Y'all like my skull shirt? 
Alrighty. Hey, Helena, how are you? Tammy, how are you? Alright. Getting into this, guys. So far, the vibe feels really good. I know it's the first, week, the first day of retro, but it's feeling good so far. Well, thank you. All right. First card up, we have the Two of Water. This could be your Two of Cups. We also have the Six of Water, your Six of Cups. And we have the Knight of Water. Well, guys, it's all about love, 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 love. Two of Water is talking about date night. I really want to throw in unexpected. Now, remember, I said remain flexible. Don't get stuck in plans. And it is the unexpected. And there's the swan I was talking about. Someone with long hair, particularly that wears it in a long braid, is going to play a role in your life this week, okay? But you are looking at date night. You are looking from someone from the past to return. Some of you are uh, can expect the news of pregnancy. And we have this offer of love that someone has really put together a presentation for this date night. Yes, grasshoppers are lucky. Yes, they are. And we have, ooh, the Council of Monarchs. There is a meeting going on about you behind the scenes. Center your reading is the world. Um, hot air balloons. Hot air balloons are going to be a sign for you this week. Also, there's uh, lightning bugs, or as y'all northerners call them, fireflies. <laughs> Okay. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is beautiful. The wheel is getting ready to turn to your favor. Who's up in up north? Um Moose. I see a moose. So the wheel of fortune. The wheel's getting ready to turn to your favor. This is good luck and abundance. This is also the card of partnership. Meeting of the Minds, partnership, could be in business as well as it could be in love. Queen of Cups. Scorpio, second time has appeared here. This is asking you to open your heart to give love and open your heart to receive love. Also, something to do with a necklace. Finding a necklace, breaking a necklace, but definitely finding a necklace, okay? Some do with a necklace here. Um, the five of air. Your guarded and your defenses. Shine down. Thank you. It's been a while. Um, your guarded and your defenses. Like cat claws are out. Here's another one signed for you guys. Are you ready? A pterodactyl going to be a sign for you. And the Queen of Fire. Grounded, centered, taking care of business, taking care of you. Um, could be a Leo that you're dealing with, may or may not resonate. You're doing some kind of treat for yourself this week. And we have the Alder of Air. Kind of like your Ace of Wands talks about your new beginning. My guys, your glow up is right now. All right. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's go further with these messages. Let's start up top. First card up, we had date night. Let's see what we have to go with that. We have... The Four of Wands, someone looking at you as the happily ever after. The Eight of Swords, self-imposed restrictions. Okay, let me say this. 
If someone asks you out, you don't want to go. I want you to go anyway. You need to get out. You need to have fun. And you need to make a friend. So go. No excuses. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is money in addition to. Why, thank you. Okay, so now you got two eights together. And now we're talking about abundance. Health, wealth, family, friends. This is going to be a very, very, very abundant week. Very abundant week. Okay, get ready for that. Now let's talk about this person from your past. This person from your past. Well, they're kind of like you. They feel a little stuck. They feel a little bit stagnant. They feel like there's not a whole lot of movement around. Um, you need to know there's something coming in this week to restore your financial balance. This is not your windfall of abundance. This is that sigh of relief that you made enough and you're going to get through. Okay? And you have wish fulfillment. Happiness, contentment, peace. Y'all guys are just having a good week. Peaceful. Just in a good position and you know it. Now, this offer coming in from this Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups. comes with data cups is because you have chosen to walk away from someone or something that no longer exists. You have closed a door, so now a new door is going to open. And we have the Page of Swords that new door is going to open with a secret admirer. Could be dealing with a Taurus energy, doesn't have to be. And again with the Wish Fulfillment. This is a larger wish, but there is a delay attached to it. But either way, you are definitely looking at wish fulfillment three times in this reading this week. Three times. Now, on the Council of Monarchs. What comes with that? The moon energy. New moon, new things. You're under the new moon. Mercury retro, yes. But it is under the new moon. And I love the new moon. New moon, new things, new beginnings. The Knight of Pentacles, new money. Now, this is the slowest moving night in the deck. But it is here. It's in sight. And we have the King of Swords. You could be dealing with the Libra energy. This could also be someone with a very sharp tongue. So be warned of that. Um, this person might bark orders at you, okay? In the world, and I'm still seeing these hot air balloons, hot air balloons. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands, the Zen card, the U card, the inner peace. The journey inward. The journey inward is paying off for you guys. Okay? With the Queen of Swords. We have a power couple. Now we have a power couple. Now what does this mean to you? First of all, a Virgo may resonate with you. Okay? This is someone coming in to seek advice. Someone to offer advice. Ooh, the color purple, which happens to be my favorite. So, the color purple is going to resonate in some form or fashion. Rain. Some of you may need an umbrella. Something rushing in here. What is rushing in in the center of this reading? Why, it is the chariot. How cool is this? Well, the chariot rushes in anyway. But this is Trump in your reading. This is your yes answer. This is getting everything you want, desire, rushing in and when you least expect it. Very fitting for the first day of retro. And all this wish fulfillment. And then we have on the Wheel of Fortune the Three of Swords. Third person minding your business for you. Ah, uh, Elena, where are you? You're not in Florida, are you? 
Someone minding your business for you. Third person. I want to advice and or opinions. The devil card energy. And we have the hermit saying you guys are on the right path. North Carolina, are you closer than I thought? Okay. When you're on the right path, you never feel that you're on the right path, but that right path comes right beside that chariot. Well, Elena, honey, best I can tell y'all, y'all are in that hurricane path that is brewing and coming from Florida. I think it's coming, what, Gulf side, coming on up the coast. I think it hits us as a tropical storm as well. You know, remember the wink says that you are surrounded by the white light and you're protected by angels. On the Queen of Water, we have the Pope. Okay, so this means you've got a dominant, prominent person coming in. Uh, someone to give you advice, someone to save the day. I get it. I live in Tornado Alley. <laughs> You're in Hurricane Alley? I'm in Tornado Alley. The Knight of Wands movement on the home front. Someone moving in, someone moving out. Moving the furniture, uh, renovations, or you'd be like me. I spent the entire weekend cleaning out closets and still got two to go. So, yeah, movement on the home front. Someone coming for an extended stay. You guys, when it says you're on the path, right path, well, this is where that path is leading to you. You're being led to total victory and complete success. How cool is that? That's where you're being led. And those cat claws that are out has to do with gossip from what I can see. And perhaps with from that person in the past. Third time. The third third time this reading has said keep your heart open to give love and receive love and basically take the higher road take the higher road it's here and we have the five of pentacles coming in with a financial and spiritual blessing and on that queen of fire taking care of you there's that knight of cups again you're definitely getting an offer of love this week could also be the love of family and the love of friends but you're definitely getting an offer and we have oh, the lovers intensity and in love this is applying to my singles and to my couples time frame is now well that was your bonus card of the time frame being now Yellow roses, I see yellow roses. Ace of cups, it is a new beginning of love. Crows, crows are here. The emperor, dominant, prominent, take charge type person. Hey, Tammy. And we have the five of wands. Five of wands, kind of like the calm before the storm. But I need you to avoid some family drama. Let me tell you something. You're surrounded by jealousy. Remember I said there's someone here minding your business for you? This person does not like you. Re uh, I don't say you're going to necessarily reconnect with someone from the past. Some of you are. But someone here, you've got more than one offer of love. You've got a glow up coming. You're on the right path. You're getting everything you want and desire. It's going to be a hell of a week. You're surrounded by magic. You've got secrets being revealed. And everything rushes in when you least expect it. Remain flexible. And we have, what, three wish fulfillments here? So, yeah. The family drama, I think, is coming by jealousy. Coming by jealousy. And we're going to go further with these messages. I just wanted to recap because that was a whole lot for a weekly read. A whole lot. All right, let's see what other messages I can give y'all. Don't forget, join me tonight live, 7 p.m. Eastern on YouTube as we pick the week apart, okay? More messages. Some of you visiting a farm. 
There's a mother figure here, and you're reconnecting with the arts. I really want to say that you're going back to, there's some kind of project or some kind of craft you used to do, and you are going to pick that up. Well, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> um, I've been doing this for 18 years, guys. Um, communal living. Okay, so you could have more than one house guest coming to stay. And some of y'all really getting into that um, holistic way of living. Okay? The homopathy thing. Now, let me say this. If you're a couple... Or if you feel your relationship is strained with a family member, since we're talking about family drama, pick and choose your battles this week. Let me say that again. Pick and choose your battles. You, however, are working on you and that journey inward, and you're overcoming your phobias. And you're feeling very abundant, and we saw that. We saw that. That you are abundant in your gift giving. You could have an abundance of clothes. And maybe you're donating clothes. Or maybe you have too much food and you're donating food. But you're donating something to a good cause this week. Also, you need to avoid a karmic relationship. You are the high priestess. Meaning that you are grounded in your centered. Hi, Miss Sharon. Um, you're grounded and you're centered. And... You need to remember this. Thank you, dear. You're also very intuitive and trust that intuition. Trust where you're being led. There may be news of a baby that has been here twice. Okay, and I don't have many weeks. Did I tell you your ship is coming in? Thank you, Tammy. Your ship is coming in, guys. Get excited about that. Your ship is coming in. Coming in, the chariot is probably leading it, but your ship is coming in. And yeah, you don't hear me say that often. All right, let's see what else we have. Let's see what Kipper has for you. All righty, we have... There's going to be a main female coming in for advice or either to offer advice or to give you advice. Okay? And we have... Well, there's Miss Angie, um, an official person, someone wearing a uniform. Perhaps this is a retired military gentleman. Um, the secret admirer, somebody is going to leave you a message, and I think it's handwritten. It's a card. It's a note. It's handwritten, and though there's no signature on it, it's going to be worded with something that resonates that you know who it come from. Okay, I see this. Yeah, the reason for your powerful new beginning is because you've closed the door and you need to expect unexpected company. So part of your unexpected this week is unexpected company when? Before Wednesday. Today's Monday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Unexpected company. It's going down. Going down. Also, a warning of bad health. Okay, that's still lingering here. And we have a news of someone going to jail, someone getting out of jail. There may be an attorney that is contacting you with good news. Wow. What's this about? I'm going to just set that to the side see if we can clarify that. And someone bringing you a gift. I feel it's a gift of gold. And we have an older man coming in to talk. This guy has silver gray white hair, maybe blonde, facial hair, very sincere, very general, very gentle, and he has a proposal for you. He has a proposal for you. He may not be from the States. I pick up a very heavy accent. So he may not be from the States. And there is news of a wedding and news of a divorce. Your good fortune is coming. 
if you guys are selling a house, it's going to sell quickly. If you're buying a house, well, now that's going down really quick too. But let's see if I can clarify this whole, um, this attorney that I just saw. Delivering good means. It's going to make you feel bajiggity, anxious, excited, and overwhelmed. It is going to bring in total happiness, complete and total happiness. Love arrows flying around. It's the magician. Y'all, this could be the news of a winning. This could be news of some long lost person has left you a fortune. Woo, take my breath away. I'm telling you right now, you've got some really good news coming in. I don't know if this is um, a winning of some sort. Um, this is an inheritance of some sort. But this is really, really good news for you. All right. So, yeah, with all that said, well, that just left me dumbfounded in the week of unexpected. Let me see if I can lift you up with some affirmations for the week. Don't forget, tomorrow I will be over here. I'll be over here and we'll be doing the next 48. That's why I want to take the week. We're going to break it down to two days. Okay? And oh, I did a couple of um, TikTok shop videos yesterday. Both super, super pleased with. Uh, one, they had give, gifted me the color changing lipstick, which is to, by the way, this is it totally freaking amazing uh for six dollars and fifty cent don't ask me how long that price will last and the other one is what is called an intelligent light and that was when you open the door um it is a motion sensor i've got it in my pantry i mean my my kitchen pantry has never had a light in so now when you open the door the light comes on and it's a beautiful thing so showcase check it out i'm adding stuff on there daily and also there is a link on my website at jackietomlin.com and i will be posting another ai video today for the week ahead all right gang what do we have here consider all of your options before acting okay forgive yourself quit beating yourself up just forgive yourself you can't change anyone else, just yourself. Uh, radiate confidence. It says, I will not compare myself to others, nor should you. You are you, and embrace that. And we have, be your own guide. You guys, trust your intuition. Well, I'm so excited about this week. I don't know what to do. So thank you guys for uplifting me. Looking forward to tonight's read, 7 p.m. Eastern on YouTube. YouTube.com backslash Psychic Jackie. Hope to see you guys there. It's going to be a wonderful week. Personal readings, JackieTomlin.com. There's a menu of options over there. Hope to hear from you. You guys have a great day. See you tomorrow.